Hi guys, I want to show you a new phone called Elephone B7 Blade. This is the new phone from this company. This phone has a decent hardware, really nice design, good build quality, and soon it will be available update to Android 4.4 KitKat. So these are good news for this phone. For these reasons you can see why I'm presenting you this phone now and I think it would be interesting to many others potential customers. So if you decide to buy this phone except the phone you will receive other items like charger, USB cable, screen protector and of course small user manual. All items are packed in cool black box as you can see. It looks really cool. Okay. Talking about design and build quality, I have to admit that this device has real nice design, my personal opinion. I hope will agree with me in this matter. Also, the back cover looks like leather. So, you can see. Has effect of leather, like Samsung Note 3. I think this is cool. Talking about build quality, I can say that this case is completely made of plastic, unfortunately, and this model uh, does not have any screen protection like Gorilla Glass, so it would be good to have screen protector to protect your screen for, from any possible damage. Okay, uh, below the screen we have three buttons and you, see, you can see they have backlight. The backlight is not too strong or too weak, so it's good. About the screen, we have front-facing camera, LED notification and sensors. On the left side of the phone, we have volume button. On the right side, we have power on off button and on top of the device we have uh, slots for micro USB and for headphones and now back cover okay we have the main camera with LED flashlight and below is company's logo and here is the speaker. So this phone can be bought in two versions. One is white model and the next one is black. So I have the white model. It is completely white except the edges which are red and silver. So design is cool. I really love it. So, the screen is big 5.5 inch and it has QHD resolution. So, many of you will think that is this low resolution for such a big screen and I would agree with you. But after I receive this phone, I have to say that the screen is perfect. Please take a look. Okay. 
anyway, the screen is on IPS with one glass solution, so the brightness, sharpness and we will get to our mood. So for any occasion, for example gaming, watching HD movies or going to YouTube, it will be very good. As you already seen the tech specs for this device, you can conclude that this is the mid-range phone with decent hardware and you can expect high performance from this device but this is expected and this is quite normal so all the functions it will be good for everyday use gaming watching HD content and similar stuff but some applications will not work as they should but you can't accept expect everything from this phone I was very curious so I tried to play a game and I chose GTA San Andreas. So let's see. Okay. Unfortunately, this device does not support OTG so you can't use gamepad so I will play with my fingers and you can see that the resolution is really good Yeah. 
Bravo. Okay, we have seen enough, so we can go to the next. And you can see, you can see that game worked perfectly normal. And I can say that other games with same requirements should work with no problems. From my past experience, most mid-range devices only have a solid cameras and some of them have even worse so I did not have any expectations from this camera but when I started to use it turned out that Elephone P7 has much better, better camera than other mid-range phones when you take photos in daylight or with enough light the photos are really great but there is one problem with flash flashlight. Uh, this flashlight is enough strong, but unfortunately it is not synchronized with camera and when you take photos in dark, then the flashlight is too long on and photos are too bright or wide. So this is not good. But overall the camera is much better than other than on other mid-range phones. So you can see how it looks. Okay. This device has a battery with 2300 mAh capacity. In my opinion, this is enough capacity for this kind of device because Elephone P7 is not a big consumer of energy so uh, for average user it will last at least one day or more okay as conclusion I can say that Elfon P7 Blade is a good phone with many pros like good build quality pretty good screen there is also a very good camera and decent hardware so this phone you can normally use for everyday use, going to the internet, play games like GTA, San Andreas or other games. It has a really nice design and I think many of you will agree with me. Talking about cons or negative side of this phone, they are for example OTG which is not working so you cannot use any other external USB devices. Will they correct this in future? I don't know, but in this moment it is not working. Also, there is problem with LED flashlight, which is not synchronized with camera. So photos taken in dark are not good. And I think that's it. So price for this phone is approximately. $120 so it is really cheap and I think in this price range you can find better device I hope you like my review thank you